Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. You are here in the home of the slightly above average ship review. I'm your host, KPZ. Today we're on Land of Fire in a domination match, bringing to you a game that I have lots of. They're called Crack and Fails. The first Crack and Fail you saw was in the War Spite, the first official Crack and Fail. This is going to be a Crack and Fail from a little bit earlier in the year in the German Tier 6 Premium Destroyer Z35. We have several chances at a crack in this game. In hindsight, and we do not pull them off. It is embarrassing. <clears throat> Sorry, I was getting all the clamp there. I was so thinking of this game brought up such feelings of sorrow within me. I almost had to stop the video. All right. So on this isla, uh, map, we're in the middle spawn. I really hate the middle spawn on this map. I don't really trust Bravo at all. I'll just come right out and say it. Don't trust Bravo. Don't like to go into Bravo. Yeah, so that's that. I trust it more on the other side, let's put it that way. If I was on the other side of the map, I'd go right into Bravo. This side of the map, no thanks. Why? I don't know how to explain that. Because there is a little corner over here near that island where you could tuck a destroyer and a cap it out. But I'm suspicious because of the ships they have on their team. They have a Fiji. And I'm pretty sure the Fiji has sonar or radar or sundar. And he could find me and I wouldn't want that. All right, first ship up on the board, Massachusetts. So we are down to here, and there's the Fiji I was talking about. Definitely want to get him taken out ASAP. Definitely want to get him taken out. All right, so we'll shoot one rack into a smoke screen because nothing attracts torpedoes like a smoke screen. Destroyer over there in the Charlie cap. I just know I don't want any part of that Fiji. Yolo Emilio over there. You know what? Let's just get out of Dodge. The kid is a preferable opponent to the Yolo Emilio or the Fiji, at least in my mind. I have a highly ranked Eric Bay or Eric Bay. I'm sorry, I'm not German. However you pronounce his name. Level 16, luxury level 3. We do get one torpedo home on the Fiji. Unfortunately, not enough to kill him. Yolo Emilio takes out our Massachusetts. Awesome. We're already down. And I'm just over here looking for a fight with the kid. So I want to say I have a sub four second reload in this build, maybe 3.7 seconds. As you can see, we're about to capture Charlie or help capture Charlie. Clearly, I'm not smart enough to switch from armor piercing to HE. So this next upcoming fight could have been over quicker if I was smart and had HE loaded, but I am not smart. We are going to send some torps over here towards the kid in case he runs into the island. And then we're going to start shooting armor piercing because I'm delusional enough to think that I do not have armor piercing loaded. So he's hiding behind an island. Got a Ganais now over there too. We are going to turn and torp at the Ganais now. Although I'm not hopeful that those torpedoes are going to get there for various reasons. Because reasons. And we're going to shoot through the gap here. Look at that tremendous aim. Even though the aim was terrible, I still hit the PG. Or the kid. Amazing, isn't it? Here's some more terrible aim. Those don't hit anything but a lot. Uh, the kid is engaged with another destroyer, I guess. I'm going to use that to my advantage. Coming around here, I do have HE loaded now. We're going to light him up. It's really easy to beat a kid when he is already on fire. And you have a Z35 with a sub 4 second reload. And you just finish off the kid. Kill number one. Good eyes now over there. He hit a rock. My torpedoes, only two of which made it there, uh, wouldn't have damaged him anyway. Here's going to be... A chance for a kill. I shouldn't have turned there. Should have kept going straight. Kept more guns on target. I still think I'm good. 
Nope. Not good. Somebody else kills him with the torpedo. Fiji over here. Getting the guns back on target. I think I am going to shoot at him once. Never mind. False alarm. YOLO Emilio. Yep, you're you're over here, buddy. Yeah, you can kill that guy. Come get some. Yep, he kills the Jervis. I hit him with some HE. Which you can see there. Incapacitated something meaningless that he quickly damaged Kant. Looking around. BG. Technically in torpedo range. Not worth turning my attention away from the YOLO Emilio. Dear Leon Commander, I'm not going to bother saying this, but get back. All right, the there's the YOLO. We're going to shoot over the rocks here. Get a pretty good salvo. Of course, the Leon damaging him severely also helped a lot. We light him on fire. We're continuing to pour in the shells, and we finish him off for kill number two. I, I don't understand when I make an enemy ship detonate. Why do they get a medal? Shouldn't I get the medal for making him detonate? Just a thought. That never made sense to me. All right, Fiji out here. We are still seeing him, but he's thankfully out of our range. All right, maybe he's not out of range. We'll shoot at the Fiji. And I don't think we're going to hit the Fiji. Nope, he dies. Guys, before we could hit him. All right, so looking at the scoreboard, we get a six to four ship lead. They have two caps, we have one cap. We have about an 80 point lead in points. So hopefully we can carry this out through the end. All right, now we have a one ship lead. I'm gonna look back here and ask Leon for help. I know he was trying to get away from Yolo and Elio. Funny how, mo funny how most of the blue team is on the other side of the map at this point. All right, so we're just making our way here. Z-35, one of the very strongest ships at the tier, especially among destroyers. I mean, if you said who can compete with the Z-35 in terms of everything it can do, you know, a uh, quick look at the teams here. I really like Play Terrible still. Obviously, the kid with its heels is very strong, but the Z-35 is right up there. A ship that slipped recently, uh, definitely the Leningrad. be interesting to see if they buff the Leningrad at some point. Maybe give it a little bit better concealment or a little bit better torpedo range, but I doubt that. I need your support. And, of course, the Japanese torpedo boats are always strong. Masashio, and, of course, my fave, Yukikaze, which is not a gunboat. I don't want to hear it, AL Yukikaze fans. The Yukikaze is not a gunboat. All right, we're tied on ships, by the way. And this uh, Akatsuki is going to cap out Bravo here, much to my chagrin. We, <laughs> we are suddenly down <laughs> by, by about 150 points. I just noticed that. So that's not good. See how quickly the tides can turn in World of Warships Legends? No pun intended. All right. Leon, Colorado, both have a lot of health. Both I have no chance of hitting with my torpedoes. Massachusetts, much less health. Destroyer, somewhere in the wind. Who knows? And using my torpedo indicator to get the heading of the Massachusetts... I figure he's turning around or something. Going to run into the island. Won't get a chance to torpedo him. So I'm going to turn, maybe try to engage the Leon. Then I notice the Massachusetts moving suspiciously. So we are going to send some torpedoes that way. And got one more rack of torpedoes to send here. I'm trying to decide between the Colorado and the Leon. And at the end of the day, I don't like the angle of the dangle on either of those ships. So we're going to go back here in a second and look at the Massachusetts again. And I figure one of these two salvos has got to have a chance of hitting the Massachusetts. 
And so we're going to exit stage right, discretion being the better part of valor. They all appear to be pushing into Bravo. And we are within the detectability of the mass. So I'm not going to play with fire here. I'm getting out of Dodge while the getting is good. You know, as in the words of Kenny Rogers, you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. All right, so we're going to go around the island here. As you can see, got a ton of reload time left. Much to my chagrin, the Massachusetts dodged all my torpedoes. So kudos to the mass commander. You know, he spotted me, but thankfully I have this gigantic island in the way, so that's all good. And my plan's just going to come over here in Alpha. And unless something else happens, we're going to cap out Alpha. Because they're capping out Bravo. And hopefully I can do something else to even up the battle for my team. All right, so we're heading into the cap. You know, I think Lee's Kavich is still pretty strong while we're talking about Tier 6. Obviously, it does not sound our... It has seven guns. I mean, you can't sneeze at seven guns, right? Um, it'll be interesting to see later on if they introduce more premium ships somewhere else. Not really in love with the Cossack. Cossack 1937, a.k.a. Haida. I can't imagine they're going to put that in Tier 6. But someone who paid for the Cossack, I'd be very pissed about that. All right. As you can see here, we launched full sets at this Colorado. Quick note back on the Cossack. They should offer the other Cossack as an upgrade for 2,500 gold to people who have the original Cossack like a module change or hull change or something that you can pay to get instead of having to buy a whole new destroyer. Just something I thought of. Don't work for Wargaming. I just use my brain around here. Just my thoughts on that. These torpedoes look pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Torpedo strikes. Devastating strike. Kill number three on the Colorado. And I have pulled our team to within... 20, 31 points as of that moment when I said that. All right, I know the Massachusetts is coming back around this island. Somewhere out there is the other destroyer. Lord only knows what he is doing. Leon over here, way out of my torpedo range. He appears to be chasing that destroyer. I know a smart person would say, I'm supposed to go into Bravo, cap Bravo. I'm not a smart person. You know that. You guys know that I play risky when I think I can make a big play. Or just because I do dumb stuff. So here's the enemy destroyer over here in Alpha. So guess what? We are a gunboat. He is not. We're going to try to light him up and engage him. And maybe our other destroyer can kill that Leon. Here's the Massachusetts. Well, we're going to send some torpedoes his way. I don't trust him anymore because of his trickery in the past. Akatsuki, Massachusetts. I can't decide. All right, there we go. Second salvo at the Mass. Akatsuki dropped spot for the moment. We are spotted. By the mass, I thought my detectability was 5.0. It is 5.2. And unfortunately for me, we we're only going to catch him with one torpedo. The second torpedo salvo. He is a good torpedo dodger. He has probably dodged. Uh, 8 plus 8, 16 minus 1. He's dodged 15 of 16 torpedoes. I've shot at him so far. All right, so our Leon takes out their Leon. And I'm worried about getting spotted by this Massachusetts, so I'm really pissed that I can't light him on fire. I do get spotted, unfortunately. So I'm going to turn. He hits me pretty good right there in terms of disabling modules and stuff like that. Thankfully, we had available damage con. 
And torpedoes are coming in from the Akatsuki who wants to try me on for size, even though I'm on fire, even though I'm damaged, even though I'm being shot at by the mass. This is the power of the Z-35 of the high-ranking air by You can still take out a torpedo boat. I even have time to shoot torpedoes at him. You know, clearly I'm not too worried about my life. Big splash of HE there. And another one there. And even though we're on fire again, we are still just piling in the HE with our good reload. And right here, there it is. Goodbye, Akatsuki. Can I kill Pinch the Ma? The mask? Can I do it? Shots out. Oh, game over. Crack and fail. I'm going to blame that on my low controller batteries. All right, here we are in the victory screen. Just one devastating strike. One solo base cap, one assisted cap. Eight torpedo strikes, four big kills, 99,569 total damage. I think this is one of the most lucrative silver matches I've ever had. 876,892 silver. Over 13,000 ship XP, over 3,000 green XP, over 22,000 banner XP, 3,107, top of the board to win. Yes, sir. Down tier. Good game to Leon Commander. I just wish we could have gotten this Massachusetts to finish off that crack. I feel cheated, but that Leon had a good game. But again, down tier doesn't matter when you know how to play your ship.